Well, between the Farm to Table movement and National Farmers Market Week, it seems like everyone is trying to bring the freshness of the farm home. In this week's Ag Minute, I'll bring you to my own backyard, where I'll show you how to grow garden fresh vegetables, even if you're tight on space. We're here in my very own backyard, and I don't know if you can tell or not, but this summer I think that I found my green thumb when I started growing my own garden. And the great thing about a garden like this is you don't need a lot of room, you don't need a lot of land to grow your very own fresh fruits and vegetables. So for this week's Ag Minute, I want to show you how you can take a little bit of the farm into your own backyard. Container gardening is one of the easiest and most efficient ways to grow vegetables at home. All you need is a plastic container like this, and the larger the container, the easier it will be to maintain. Before you plant the first seed, you need to make sure your container will drain water. In fact, drainage may be the single most important factor on whether your plants will live or die. So to do that, you need to drill some holes. And they gave me a power tool to do that. Remember, the more drainage holes, the better. The next step, add soil. Quality potting soil is really important for vegetables. Since I'm planting carrots in this container, I need looser, lighter soil for the roots to easily push through. So this miracle Grow potting soil is perfect, and it already has fertilizer mixed in, so that's one less step in the process. With our soil in place, now it's time to plant the seeds. So these are the seeds. Oh, these are tiny. I've never planted carrots before, so this is going to be trial and error. Like I figured out everything is when it comes to gardening. So we're going to make our row about a half inch deep. And then we're just going to drop a few here, a few here. Now we're going to take just a little bit of our soil and cover the seeds. And you don't want to pack it down too hard because you want those seeds to have an easy time sprouting and coming up. And the last step, water. Growing vegetables need water, and lots of it. However, you don't want to drown your plants. The goal is to keep your soil moist, but not wet. At the height of summer, you will probably have to water at least once, sometimes twice a day. Proper watering may be the single most important part of container gardening. After all that hot, sweaty, dirty work, we finally got our carrot container garden planted. All we need to do is set it out and let the sun do its work. Most vegetable crops need full sun. That means at least six hours of direct sunlight a day. And in about 80 days, I'll have some carrots, hopefully, to show you from my harvest. So, see, I told you, easy enough, even I can do it. Well, sadly enough, the same storm that flooded those soybeans you saw earlier in the show also wreaked havoc on my little garden. I guess now I truly understand all the ups and downs that farmers face every year. Well, now it's time for Twilight Trivia. Last week I asked you which famous rock star wife also wrote and published her own cookbook, and the answer is C. Linda McCartney. This week's question is, which vegetable was originally named the love apple? Is it A. Bell pepper, B. Radish, or C. Tomato? To enter this week's Twilight Trivia contest, simply log on to your Facebook or Twitter account and post your answer with the hashtag Twilight Trivia. Or you can always submit your answer online at twilighttv.org. Still to come on this week in Louisiana agriculture, we keep the focus on the weather to get the bottom line on this year's corn crop. Stay with us.